today in this video, I am praying for you to be strong in the Lord. And I'm standing with you according to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, the Bible says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. Verse 11, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Verse 12, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Amen? So I want to remind you today that we are in a battle and we have to fight according to the Word of God. Amen? We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but it's against the powers of darkness. And so if you feel weak in your faith, if you feel discouraged, I want to encourage you to lift up your voice to heaven. Don't just listen to me praying for you. Lift up your voice to God. Amen. Ask the Lord to touch you right there where you are because I believe that breakthroughs, deliverance, I believe that God will touch you today as we call upon Him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, today, I come before you to pray and to intercede for everyone to the sound of my voice. I pray that you touch this precious person with your power. I pray in the name of Jesus that you empower this person to be strong in you. I know that I'm praying with people that they feel so beaten down, they feel weak in their faith. Father God, you didn't create this person to be weak. Father, you create them to be strong in you. And so I pray that you touch them. Some of them, they feel that they want to quit. They want to give up because of the battles that they're facing right now. And so I pray in the precious name of Jesus that you rescue this person today. I pray that you give them a new hunger for your presence. I pray that you deliver them from every stronghold that stands on their way, hindering them to walk in their purpose and in their calling. I pray in the name of Jesus for divine direction and clarity concerning your will for their lives. Father God, some of them, they feel so discouraged. Some of them, they feel so lost. Some of them, they feel that they have no clarity concerning their future. They have no idea what to do with their lives. And so I pray right now for your anointing, for your power to come upon this person, to make them strong, to walk in victory. Father God, some of them, they feel they are stuck in this position of defeat. They cannot move with their lives. And so I pray, let your power, let your anointing come upon them to make them strong, to walk in victory as a child of God. I pray that you give this person supernatural strength to overcome every challenge that they are facing right now. I pray that you renew their strength like the eagles. I pray in the name of Jesus that you give them a strong passion to get into your word daily. I pray, Father God, that every evil that is fighting against them, hindering them to pray, hindering them to get into the word, hindering them, Lord God, to put you first, I break in Jesus' name. I say, come out. Every evil force, every demonic power that is fighting against this person, that is fighting against their walk with you, I say, break in Jesus' name. Loose them right now in Jesus' name. I command, loose this man, loose this woman. Father, I pray for the anointing because the anointing breaks the yoke. I pray, release your anointing and break every yoke of bondage, every grip of Satan that keeps this man and this woman in bondage, in defeat. I say, break in Jesus' name. I 
pray in the name of Jesus for divine revelation of the love of the Father. Father God, some of them, they need to know your love. Some of them, they need the revelation that they are loved, that you have a purpose, that you have a calling, you have an amazing destiny for this person. And so I pray, Father God, reveal yourself to them. Let them know how much you love, how much you care about them. Father God, I pray for divine revelation and all the confusion in the head, all the confusion concerning your love, all the confusion, all the uncertainty. I say Break in Jesus' name. Every spirit of heaviness, every spirit of oppression, every demonic activity that is fighting against this person, I break in the power of the Holy Ghost. I break by the blood of Jesus. I say, loose this man in this woman right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you reveal yourself to them. I pray that you reveal your word. Let this person, Lord God, know your word. Let them have a passion, a love for your word, because your word declares that if we know the truth, the truth shall set us free. And so I pray for the truth. I pray for your will. I pray that you empower them. I pray that you remove the blindness. I pray that you remove a spiritual scales that hinders this person to know the truth. I pray, Father God, for an open heaven. I pray for the anointing to come upon them. I pray, Lord God, that you restore this person and that you raise this person for such a time as this. I declare that every heaviness, every oppression, every demonic power, every spirit that is fighting against this man, this woman, I say, loose in Jesus' name. Come on, people of God, lift up your voice right now. Come on, just let heaven hear the cry of your heart. Let Ask the Lord right now to set you free and to empower you to be strong. Come on, don't be silent. Let heaven hear the cry of your heart. Father God, I pray in agreement with my brother and my sister. According to Matthew 18, 18, your word declares that what we bind on on earth will be bound in heaven. What we loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Your words say where two of you, Lord God, on earth agree about anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. And so I pray in agreement. I pray that you deliver them. Some of them, they feel so stuck, Lord God, in bondage. They feel so stuck, Lord God, in sin. They feel that they're getting nowhere with their life. Some of them, they're contemplating to give up. I pray, Father God, Break this thing off your people. Set them free for such a time as this. I bless each and every one of them. I declare freedom. I declare the strength of the Lord coming upon them. I declare in Jesus' mighty name that every stronghold that is fighting against this man, this woman, every evil force, every demonic spirit, every spirit of bondage, I say break in Jesus' name. Loose right now in Jesus' name. Receive. Come on. Receive right now. Just place your hand on top of your head. I want every one of you put your hands on top of your head if you can and just receive in Jesus' name. I feel there's something in the realm of the mind that is going to come down right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you right now as your people, they place their hands on top of their head. I pray, Father God, that you touch them in the head. The fight is in the mind. The battle is in the head. So many of them, they feel discords. They feel so much confusion, so much oppression, so much uncertainty. Father God, I pray that every demonic spirit, every arrow from the pit of hell, everything that is targeting this man, this woman in the mind, causing, Father God, oppression and confusion and lies and double-mindedness and doubt, I say, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for freedom in the realm of the mind, clarity in the realm of the mind, every stronghold in the mind. I say, Broken by the blood of Jesus. Broken by the power of Jesus. Broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare freedom to the mind. All the confusion, the worry, the stress, all the craziness that is going on in the mind. I say, broken in Jesus' name. 
loose in Jesus' name. Listen to my voice, you demonic force. Loose this man, this woman in the head. Loose them in the name of Jesus. I speak freedom. I speak wholeness. I declare clarity of mind. I declare all the confusion, all the oppression, everything that is targeting this man, this woman in the mind. I say broken in Jesus' name. I declare and I decree freedom from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet in the name of Jesus. If you receive, just say, I receive in Jesus' name. Come on, lift up your hands to heaven and pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive His strength. Say, Lord Jesus, I want to be strong. I want to walk with you for the rest of my life. Say, Lord Jesus, empower me, strengthen me to walk in victory. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Forgive me of all my sins. Empower me to walk in victory. Say, Lord Jesus, you didn't create me to walk in defeat. You created me to walk in victory. And so I receive the power of the Holy Ghost. I receive the anointing from heaven. Say, thank you, Jesus. I surrender my life to you. Forgive me of all my sins. Come to my life. Be my Savior and my Lord. I receive victory in your precious mighty name. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord, my brother, my sister, receive. I declare the breakthroughs, deliverance. I declare the spiritual strength is coming upon you. I declare the blessings of heaven is coming upon you. If you receive, say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord, for touching my life. Amen and amen. Praise God, my brother, my sister. I love you. God bless you. If you're blessed by this prayer, please like this video. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video.